mtazamaji wa runinga ya kak mahala popote ulipo tunakujia moja kwa moja kwenye kanisa la kipresbitari ya dogoto iliyoko eneo bunge la kikuyu county ya kiambu kwenye katika hafla ya mazishi ya mwenda zake aliyekuwa mama wa kanisa mstaafu jane wanjiko akabui ambaye aliaga dunia tarehe kumi mwezi huu aprili mwaka huu hu wa 2023 mwenda zake jane wanjiko kabui ameweza kuwa anaaga dunia akiwa na umri wa miaka sabini na moja kufahamisha tu mtazamaji wangu ni kwamba mwenda zake Jane Wanjiko Kabui alijiunga na kikundi cha Women's Guild mwaka wa elfu moja, mia tisa, sabini na sita ambapo alishiriki kama mwenyekiti wa kamati ya kanisa la kipresbitari ya Njoro jinsi ambavyo pia kufahamisha kuwa ya kwamba hafla hii ya mazishi inaongozwa naye amodareta wa kanisa la PCA Kasisi Degu Mutahi kufahamisha ya kwamba mwenda zake alikuwa mke wa kasisi mstaafu James Kabui Ri mama yake Anne Wairimo mzee wa kanisa Charles Ri kasisi Mary Ri wa parokia ya Tambaya vile vile Bedan Wambu Eunice Wambu Solomon Dongo Eda Ndungu Margaret Kabogo na Paul Kabogo alikuwa nyanya wa Daisy Rose Ruilin, uh, James Precious, Lewis Wesley, Chantel, Peter, Shalin, Fever, Ivy, Scottish, Jelani, Elani na Ima, Amani Kunradi. Uh, alikuwa mwana wa marehemu mzee wa kanisa Bedan Wambu na marehemu mama wa kanisa Margaret Wanjiro. Alikuwa dada yake Dorcas Heta, mzee wa kanisa Julia Mungai, marehemu Moses Gidiria na mzee wa kanisa Paul Kuria na shangazi wa wengi zaidi. Afla hii ya mazishi ime, ndio imeweza kuina anza rasmi na jinsi ambavyo mnaweza kuwa mnaona katika runinga hii ya kak ni kwamba kikundi ambacho kinaongoza hafla hii kwa wimbo ambapo wanazungukia mwili wa marehemu Jane Uwanjiko Kabu kikundi cha Women's Guild ni kwa kufahamisha kwa vile uh, marehemu uh, Jane Wanjiko aliweza kuwa katika kundi hili na ndio maana jinsi ambavyo unaona uh, wamechukua hatua na kuweza kuwa wanaanza kwa nyimbo tu kadhaa katika uh, kuanzisha rasmi katika hafla hii ya mazishi ambayo inafanyika katika kanisa kanisa hili la kipresbitari la dogoto almarufu church of the torch
iliyoko eneo bunge la Kikuyu County ya Kiambu wangu tu kukufahamisha tena kwa ajinsi ambavyo niliweza kuwa na mafahamisha hapo awali ni hafla ya mazishi ya mwenda zake
mtazamaji wangu hafla hii ya mazishi ya mwenda zake Jane Wanjiko
Wanjiko aliweza kuwa anajiunga ama yeye aliweza kuwa mzaliwa na kuweza kuna shiriki katika kanisa la PCA mwaka wa elfu moja, mia tisa hamsini na tano ambapo aliweza kuwa anateuliwa ama kujiunga kama mama wa kanisa mwaka wa elfu moja, mia tisa sitini na nne ambapo kujiunga kwake katika kikundi cha Women's Guild aliweza kuwa anajiunga mwaka wa, mwaka wa elfu moja, mia tisa sabini na sita mtazamaji wangu ni kuwa uh, mwenda zake Jane Wanjiko uh, Kabuyu aliweza kuwa um, anazaliwa katika eneo la Njoro County ya Nakuru ambapo aliweza kuwa anazaliwa tarehe mosi mwezi wa nne mwaka wa elfu moja, mia tisa hamsini na mbili alikuwa mwanae marehemu Bedan Wambu Gadhura na marehemu uh, Margaret Wanjiru Wambu Alikuwa kitinda mimba uh, na dada yake Dorcas Kurumbu na kazisi mstaafu uh, Kundradi uh, mzee wa kanisa Julia Wairimu Mongai na marehemu Moses Gidiria
kufaidika hivyo na kusaidiane na yeye. Ah tukifika pale kwa mwanako uh, kama tutakuwa na mimi ambao tutakuwa tukuimba tuna mazi ni kwa sababu tutakuwa na masomo ya Biblia ambao yatasomwa na kusomwa mpaka tufike uh, pale tena. Na kwa hivyo hivyo ndivyo tutakavyoenda mtukaji alafu atakuwa mbele na tutaenda na hiyo. So pale obvious
Naanza ibada Naomba Kristi uh, watuongoze au wimbo ambao tutaanza nao ambao ni wimbo cha kutumaini sina ni wimbo ambao tutaanza nao na ibada yetu na kuzidikisha mambo yetu cha kutumaini sina Thank you. 
Yesu kabisha kwa wafu. Kwa kuwa kama vile wote mfake. Kwa sababu ya damu hivyo 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 wote watakavyofuka kwa salamu ya Kristo. Sasa nawaambia siri ndugu zangu kwamba nyama na damu haziwezi kurithi ufalme wa Mungu wala uharibifu kurithi mtu kuharibika. Angalieni nawaambia si nini siri hatutalala zote lakini zote tutabadilika kwa dakika moja kufunga na kufungua wakati wa parapanda ya mwisho maana parapanda itadia na wafu watafufuliwa wasue na karibifu nasi tutabadilika hapo ndipo nitakapokuwa ile neno nilioandikwa na uti imemezwa na kushika kuu wapi ewe mauti kushinda kwako kuu wapi uchungu wako ewe mauti uchungu wa mauti ni dhambi na nguvu za dhambi ni torati lakini Mungu na achunguliwe atupaye kushinda kwa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo basi ndugu zangu wapendwa nimarike msikizi msikizike mkazidi sana kutenda kazi ya bwana siku zote kwa kuwa mwajua ya kwamba kazi yenu sio ure kifanya katika bwana sasa so, 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 basi wakati huu tuwaomba praise and worship team ije tuongoze kwa hivyo mbili na kisha mai reverend karano akaweza kuongoza kwa maombi i praise and worship two songs kisimani
Tunakushukuru Bwana tunakutambua kama endeleza. Umbali huu tumefika. Na Bwana tuikabidi basi baada ya hii mikono ni mwako. Ukatupa mwanzo katikati na mwisho. Na Bwana tukitakapo tabatisha vizuri heshima na utukufu zote zitakurudia. Bwana kaanasi utubariki na utumene na tunajikabidi kwako juu ya mikono hiyo jana na jema na fadhili na faraja nyingi. Unapowapa familia nguvu na sifa na tupe nguvu na kutumenea na jina la Bwana. Najikabidi kwako sasa katika jina la Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Baba Father what's in heaven. Hallo bidani ni thy kingdom come. Na wewe bidani na nami na sisi in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I uh, thank you to my security. So I got to go number a monitor and press into a window. I was able to okay. Kisha ni kwa sababu tuko eneo la kikuu presbytery na monitor wa kikuu presbytery na presbytery ili pia na yeye tuoke hapa. Asante sana kwa kutoka na watu cha Mario ambaye atakuja baadaye na nikipenda kuchukua fursa sahihi ili wapokee nyote ambao tumekuja kutoka karibu na bali kwa tisha ajema sempli in the office of ajema sempli presbytery ya wilu ambao tumabangosa ibara ya tuko na kahawa famas from New York ambako kwenyubani kwa mshugaji na sisi zote tujisikie tumepokele wa mahakama na tuwe mikononi mwabana wakati kutu na mwenye na hii bada ya kusikiza mama yetu na kwa miyama ya kikuwe presbytery ngependa ya na agrami zetu kutoka kikuwe presbytery mjisikie mkwa mahali mwana kofa ndiyo tuwalike mwotu cha wabido ngependa kuita presbytery crack ambani mshukati wa hawa Dio kuchukua sisi geografia karibu kuchukua sisi. Hicho wakati ni mpyo kani sisi bwana. Bwana asifiwe, mada ni yaboshi, mta kuchukua fursa hii kuwa karibisha hapa katika kani sisi ni chacho ya church, mopleta mto jana sambi, mafisi kuu, mawaja na royal president na Nairobi North. Na wachungaji wote na wazewa wa kanisa mbao kwa 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 mbao wale ambao ni members wa baba wote wako area na wataweza kusaidia. Adhais kwa sana na Mungu awabariki na kwa familia Mungu awe pamoja nami na tawashiria. Amen. Karibu sana mkita kwa leo. Mbona cha kutuma sangi na ofisi kuu? Pastor Mbona cha kufanya mchezo wa mchungaji? na wote ambao tumekuja kwa naisi wa sifiri. Jina ni hali zono wa shiva na tomo. Na shukua fursa hii kuwa shukuru sana kwa sababu ya jinsi ambao tumekuja na mchikiria kwa niyaba ya presbytari ya Rilo. Mahali ambao tumekua kakishirikia na mchungaji ni kafue ni moja wetu katika presbytari na pia na familia yake tu wakaribishe na tuseme baba tumapokea na tumeshukuru bwana kwa jinsi ambavyo umekuwa pamoja nasi tangu tulipopatwa na msiba huu. Baba ni pale tukaniamba ya familia
familia mko kiza pale na kwa kisima basi sa familia kipindi cha macho kimekuwa ni kikubwa sana thank you na karibuni sana kwa bashi Sorry, by Reverend John Kinyajui. In 1990, she was.
was ordained as a church elder, woman's guild. The late Elder Jane Wanchuku Kakwe was commissioned as a member of the Women's Guild in 1976 and she served as a chair lady of the Presbyterian Council. The late Elder Jane accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as her savior in 1970 and she became a member of East African Revival Fellowship where she served as a secretary. Sickness. For the last six years, the late Jane Wanjuko has been feeling unwell, and during this time, she has been receiving treatment in various hospitals, including Kenyatta Hospital, Nairobi Hospital, St. Mary's Hospital, and Kenyatta Teaching and Referral Hospital. On Monday, the 10th, April 2023, at around 1 p.m., she was promoted to glory while still at home. She passed on at the age of 71 years. According to her, she always believed that to live is Christ and to die is gain. I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse number 7. Praise the Lord and be your sake. Is 
letter to Philippians, chapter 1, verse 21. For me to live was Christ, and therefore to die is gain. Jane, you had a permanent presence in my life. Lest in peace, Jane. Goodbye, is it forever? We will meet again someday. Thank you. On behalf of all the students, as she ever assisted, I read the tribute. It was quite heavy in our hearts when the news came to us. All was left in our hearts that you have been promoted to glory. Some of us never had hope, nor the resources to do school, or you provided both. Every honorable child that you ever assisted with kind words, material items, even hosting them in various homes for months and even years. Every family that ever changed their lives will forever be grateful. You are so compassionate, generous, kind, so lovely to many. Your good deeds and golden words will forever remain in our hearts. You have mentored many, and your legacy will remain even in generations to come. May your soul rest in eternal peace. This one, this is the feeling from uh, siblings, that is my sister's uh, brother, to Jane. Praise God, our beloved sister, Jane Wanjiko. No one can express our love for you. We shall miss you so much. From time in the morning, you have been a pillar of love and kindness to every member of our family. You visited us from time to time to know how we are doing. You extended the same love and concern to our extended family members, that is cousins, in-laws, children and friends. What can we say to your husband and children? Let the same love and kindness continue amongst us. God be with you all. She was a 
a great motivator and her faith guided her into wanting everyone to be their best and honorable self. She was our cheerleader and would always encourage us no matter what we were going through. She was always there for us, offering her time, her wisdom and her love. She had a way of making everyone feel welcomed and cared for. She also taught us to believe in ourselves, to believe in our potential, to believe that whatever we want we can achieve, if we just believe. Often she would say, Jagnie, or Fuata Hikio Kyoneki Konayo. Shosho was a devout and faithful servant of God who committed her life towards ministry. She was a prayer warrior and she would always emphasize the power and importance of prayer. She always taught us to depend on the word of God for guidance and for answers whenever we were stuck or troubled. She was our spiritual guiding light. She instilled the, 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 the devotions before they went to sleep. Oh, sorry. She instilled the culture of friendship in her family and we made sure we had family devotions before they went to sleep. Shosho was truly an exceptional woman and we are blessed to have shared the worries with her and her life. Her words will continue to inspire and guide us for years to come. She, she had the gift of giving light in the darkest places. Even in her sick, in her sick bed, she managed to be full of life and was kind enough to stick to her promise with God, always giving us hope. Our hearts are battered, but her loss, by her loss, but we know that her spirit to live on. We are blessed to have been nurtured by you, flying with the angels' church.
We know this because Jesus was the center of man's life. We trust that God is sovereign over all things. We have the hope of resurrection, and so we don't soar as others. We do not, those who don't know the Lord, we know you'll we'll see man again. Have a good night, man. Sleep well till we meet again.
mama here mama mama you mama mama i love you so much you be always have a special place in our hearts
kaidi waida then victorious group then after that then we die and uh, then we close with ministers and spouses
production of food is served.
beaucoup à ici. Pasteurs et ministres pour la révélation. Yes, Asante, tu as obtenu ma coffee. I'm also being informed that uh, we have an uh, uh, MP from Brady, Honorable Busia, and a wife. Maybe we can wish uh, the congregation a something to be a talking to the people of the family. Sasa wakati huu uh, wakati wa kumbisha madaraka na ningeomba mchungaji uh, uh, mweze sasa kufanya hivyo kwa kujoka na wa officials kum kafamas waje Nitaomba familia ya mchungaji uh, mchungaji na watoto mje kimiti mchungaji na watoto sasa na yotas even those that are married to the family or those that are married in the family to come for Wakati mwengu ni kawapa o mbebasu kumazgeo na simame ili jambo ni napo emelea wawajese solidarity na ufanyikazi kwa mwoto Thank you. 
nilimwambia mimi na pesa zangu sisi wote ni wangu. Kwa hivyo tumeleta hapa tukiwa tunajua jina la kazi ya Mungu na tunashukuru Mungu sana. And on behalf of our congregation to get a chat. Nitapeana hii madada kwa njia ile ya parish hapa basi. God bless you. Thank you. Mabosi.
Genesis 12, from verse 1 to 10. I am speaking of the Yakima, serving at our mother's parish. The Lord has said to Abraham, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse, and all peoples on earth will be blessed with you. So Abraham went, as the Lord had told him. The Lord went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. Five. He took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran. And they set out for the land of Canaan and they arrived there. Abraham traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Moreh at, at Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. The land, the Lord appeared to the Abraham and said, to your, to your offsprings, I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord, who had appeared to him. Eight. From there he went on towards the hills east of Bethel and pitched his tent, with Bethel on the west and I on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Then Abraham set out and continued towards the Negev. Ten and the last. Now there was a famine in the land, and Abraham went down to Egypt to live there for a while because the famine was severe. May God bless you. Son of man is going to suffer at their hands. 
Then the disciples understood that he was talking to them about John the Baptist. That's the one of the Lord. I think we are going to be up studying all of us so that uh, uh, the priest team can lead us in one song, uh, the poetry song. Uh, we welcome the moderator to give us the word. Priest team, one song.
katika jina la Yesu amjapo nikugeni mkono tafadhali bwana asifiwe amina amina nashukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hii ya kusimama hapa hata kama ni wakati wa majonzi lakini sisi tulisema pale mwanzo God giveth the Lord taketh away kwa hivyo bado kuna shukrani kwa Mungu kwa sababu aliyepeana ndiye aliyechukua kwa hivyo hilo linatupa utulivu na matumaini. Namshukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hii ya kusimama hapa kulileta neno la Mungu ili niweze kutupa matumaini kama familia na marafiki na hata kanisa naitwa Bebe Mutai Yesu mwokozi wa maisha yangu aliniokoa amenidumisha katika wokovu na nimeajiriwa ufalme mwema na ndio hata nikifa nikiwa ndani ya imani nitatawala tena kwa hivyo namshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya wokovu wa leo na hata hadi ya kwamba ananijali ananijali katika maisha haya na hata nitakapokuwa siko katika maisha haya atanijali na huo najua ni ushuhuda wa mama yetu aliyetutangulia kwamba alitua kwamba siku moja itafikuwa bila ilivyo sasa kwa jambo hili ikawa kutushitua alitupati kwa kutojua kwa jua litatokea kwa hivyo ni nzuri kuwa tumekaa tumejitayarisha naleta rafiki yangu zangu binafsi na hata za familia yangu na za kanisa lote kwa mchungaji kabwi na wote ambao wa familia hiyo kwa sababu hata kama kweli ni kwamba tutaondoka kifo kikitokea mtu akiwa mgonjwa au mtu awe hapo mgonjwa kifo kifo ni bibo ni bibo kubwa kwa hivyo ukiwa sasa umekalia wiki miwili kama baba kama mama lakini Mungu ni mwaminifu atakupanga ukiwa mikono mwake uko mikono mizuri atakupanga na kukuelekeza na yake atakuwa sawa Ah, Mrs. Kabuye nimejua kwa muda kwa sababu wakati mmoja katika historia tulisoma na mchungaji Kabuye. Na nikasikia kwa Kenya juu akisema walisoma na mchungaji Kabuye. Karibu tukishana. Kwa sababu tunaulizana wewe ulisoma na Kabuye na si kuona kwa class. Na yeye anajiuliza wewe ulisoma naye wapi? Na hatukuwa kwa class moja. Sasa Dr. Kalebi ni anaelewa kwa bali kulikuwa wakati bali bali hapo pereni walisoma hapo na kenya juu baadaye tukasoma naye pale St Paul's kwa hivyo nimemjua mama kwa muda mrefu na mchungaji pia na kwa hivyo ninapokuja hapa si kitu kwa watu ambao sielewi hadi kwa sababu ninashikilia ofisi hiyo shikilia nimekuja kwa watu ambao nimewajua kwa muda mrefu na hata watu kwa tuwa familia hiyo na wajua kwa hivyo nikiwa hapa pia niko na na mapenzi ya kujua familia hii tuwashukuru mungu kwa sababu ya mwema wake licha ya majongzi kama haya mungu wa metusha damisha kwa kutupatia mvua mvua ambayo kimesema kuitulie vizuri kwa kulima mashamba wale walio nayo na hata wasio na mashamba siku hizi wanatafuta magunia wanaweka mchanga na bolera wanapata siku ya wiki na spinach hata kama wanakaa kwa ghorofa kwa sababu siku hizi mtu ni kujipanga na ifrenzi na ifrenzi siku hizi ni kujipanga kwa sababu hatitui kesho boga ikapatika na wapi kwa hivyo kama una mahali ambapo unaweza kuweka gunia hata kama unakaa kwa ghorofa baada baada moja mbili mwaji kidogo ile ya kusabisha vyombo ile haina sabuni itakuza siku mwingi na utafurahia na wale wenye mashamba makubwa tafadhali tupande na kupande vizuri mtumie polea ili tupe kuwa na mazao siku za usoni na pia tukasema miti pia kama kanisa ya PCA tupande miti milioni kumi na tumeanza tumeanza milioni kumi sasa imepungua na ukipanda miti wewe kama ni wa PCA Eh, ujue tunapunguza tuna, tuna ile hesabu tuliyosema na sio kupanda peke yake tulisema hata kupalilia nitoa mtoto hata kete tutaka kumenelela ikaleo ni poli 
hata tunapoingia kwa neno ambalo linatuongoza ambalo tulipata katika kitabu cha Genesis mwanzo 12 mstari wa kwanza hadi wa 10 na alafu tukafanywa injili kama ilivyoandikwa na mtakatifu Mathayo mambo ya 17 mstari wa kwanza hadi wa 13 Kiebrea iko ni naigere kuhani wa mbele kinawa ikumi tuachoka kwa roho injili tolea kitu ni madhayo isiko yetu ni namungu aja kinya ikumi na ibato na tuombe nena na roho zetu ewe Mungu wakati wote unafaa kutusemesha hata wakati tuna masikitiko hata wakati tuna majonzi una namna ya kutuinua una namna ya kutujenga tulishe kwa neno lako kwa Mungu tutoke hapa tukiwa bora kuliko tulivyoingia tutarajie kutoka kwako katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwokozi wetu amen basi masomo yote mawili tuliyosoma jambo moja linalotokea ni ahadi kubwa za Mwenyezi Mungu. Ahadi kubwa za Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu katika kitabu cha mwanzo tumeona Mungu akimshauri Abrahamu na kumwambia atoke mahali anaishi, aende nchi ya Adamu na akifika nchi hiyo atapewa baraka nyingi, atabarikiwa, atakuwa na vizazi vingi, ataongozwa na Mungu, atapewa vizazi. Great promises, great expectations katika somo la pili on the mountain of transfiguration tunamsikia Mungu akiwaambia waliokuepo mpaka wakashituka huyu ni mwana wangu this is my son whom i love muwe unamtii great words positive words a great future lies ahead for Abraham a great future lies ahead for Jesus because God himself has spoken from heaven saying he is my beloved son hearken unto what he tells you obey him so those are moments of posterity they are moments of great expectations mungu kwa jina la mwana wa Abraham wewe nitakufanya baba kama rafiki anamwambia Abrahamu wewe nitakupatia mashaba wewe Abrahamu utakuwa na bizazi itakavyotoka kwako Mungu anasema mwenyewe Yesu ni mwana wako it can't get better than that lakini tunajua kwamba baadaye hawa waliopewa ahadi hizi wanaadamwa na mazito after this positive moment after great expectations we see trouble thereafter mstari wa 10 tuliosoma katika kitabu cha mwanzo unazungumzia jaa kubwa ambayo ilitokea wakati Abrahamu alipofuata ushauri wa Mungu akatoka nchi ya Haran akaingia nchi ya Canaan alipofika tu kukatokea jaa kubwa sana jaa iliyomfanya atoroke atoke huko akatafute chakula nchi ambayo haikuwa imetajwa hes maul mwalega ya mwelekeza mwele tawaki na kuu usoke bidale ujibisi yuko sahihi na wakina misi niko kodo kama toto yuko batara ngwe kutumia watu ni mwana wa Mungu ko ti kwaya arumira na ko ti hore mutunya wa ku hapa ko yo ko yo lete na wana ko ra ko ko ne ka ko ka ko ka ke ja ro ki no ko u ge mutunya na wana wa ki ma ha ni ko ime ki me se ko ari ko ni ma me ko ka pe ne ni sa ra to ka ha ni ne da wa bi e da ka na ni na u ki fi ka ka na u ta ko ba ba wa ma ta i fa Ukifika kana mashamba yaliyo huko utayapata. Ukifika kana nitakuongoza na atakaye Qur'ani nimekuraani na atakaye kubariki nimekubariki. Ila ndio shikira ni 
ya kuuza mwokozi ikawa ni kwa mtu wa karibu wa Yesu Kristo haikutajwa wakati huo kwamba kutaka kukua umeshikwa wanafunzi wote watakutoka haikutajwa kwamba utakapopelekwa kwa kesi kesi ikianza bibi hivi petro petro atakusaidia sio mara moja na bibi mara tatu na kutakuwa na kufia iba na kutakuwa ubebaji wa msaada na kutakuwa na kuanguka na kutakuwa uchi kwa msalaba na kutakuwa na kitakina na kiu na hata mikuki itapitia hapa hapa hiyo ni kwa why once again just to remind you that god sees the bigger picture the victorious picture the triumphant picture other than the small issues that human beings see as the way he's taking us so even as we go through grief even as we go through loss let us ask God to remind us that there is a bigger plan for us let us tell God that ya na tunasikitika kumekuwa na ugonjwa usitufanye tusahau kwamba mpango wako juu yetu ni mpango imara ni mpango thabiti ni mpango usiotikisika ni mpango ambao hauwezi kupanguliwa kwa sababu wakati mwingine tunaangalia mambo yaliyotuzunguka magumu Tunasema hata kama kuna ahadi za Mungu mambo kwa ground ni tofauti. Abrahamu karibu asema hata kama niliahidiwa mashamba makubwa hata kama niliahidiwa vizazi hata kama niliahidiwa ulinzi hata kama niliambiwa kwamba watakamilani wameraadiwa watakaongalifu wamepanyokiwa sababu nimefika hapa jana nimefika hapa inabidi niende misri ninapofika misri inabidi mke wangu na mimi tuwashane kwa siku kadhaa atiwa ameingia kwa wenyewe hiyo haikuwa imesema kwa hivyo ndio ahadi za Mungu ziko lakini mambo kwa glau ni tofauti hata Yesu alipofika kiwango cha kusema eroni sababu kinani sababu Yesu alikuwa Mungu na alikuwa binadamu ni ubinadamu kiasi kifani ndio kwa unasema mambo kwa ground ni tofauti ikawa ukisema unanipenda sana ikawa ukisema unanilinda na kunitunza
tunapofanya huduma huduma inakuwa kuku eroi 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 wewe kuku kweli unasikia na mnaona hata tunapoangalia wakati mwingine hii Kenya yetu eroi 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 huko Mwenyezi Mungu kweli unatujali na bila tumekuomba na tunataifu kupata taifa ambalo wakristo ni asilimia itafai percent a prayer for nation eroi eroi mambo kwa cloud ni tofauti sababu changamoto za watoto watoto tunao walea tunao wafunza wameikilia haya wameikilia yale wanavutwa na haya wanavutwa na yale mambo kwa gramu ni tofauti si wewe wa kwanza abraham alikuwa baada ya kupewa ahadi kubwa ahadi moto moto Because that was the truth that was happened. Much as 
tunafikia tumabazi yako ya kufika fika ukweli ni kwamba Yesu was crucified in heaven at crossroads haya barabara hiyo bana na kwa kuti ni moto tarahe yako kuti ni moto tarona na wanenya hiyo isi adume na kuka mama na baba na mama tikia kwa kurabisha mama na baba kanuni kuli kamizi no kia mama wote kabisa Lembo wa Yesu ya kisera ya Yesu moyo wa ndani. Epo zara baini. Ile ndio roka na atreka. Iko ina tele kwa Facebook kusikiliwa bibi, Instagram, TikTok, sijui wewe ni top tiki. Yote. Na sio gadeti ni sisi ndio mwenyeji. Iko mbuni ndani ya bibi ndani ya gadeti. Na hiyo na tele ukagia kuna kampuni ya leo na kama hiyo ili tu wapo wanga na ndio kitu kwa kina polisi utakiri ile hayo kwa kuna mandiri ile ile kwa wanga akiri kwa kama na ile to be the son of man son of god no kina maji ya kapsile eroi eroi la tempo na ndio ya kwa liko ito na mashoko mokele kwa kaki na yame thirsty God becomes thirsty and asks human beings to quench his thirst you can see the ritiki yame uwa mkai gaiwe wopi ya mai moze nilu ya mwenyoto haroni ya mina damu mamu ya mai adi nilu na no kio kina mwishu uwa mabadi nilu ya kia mwenda kia ah Honda kwa mdoro wa kwa 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 Ah, ini tu lembut wali gombal hari, kemarin ada tu lembut lagi, betul betul. 
wa kutai wa wana Masha kumani kitoro kuingai Those don't matter What matters is the destination He is taking his people to What I say What matters is the destination He is taking us to He remains steadfast and faithful On that course He knows you will get there Na ndiyo ya ni head challenge Is tira tarake darwe doro But he knows how he will help us to surround to those challenges. Mungu anajua kwamba katika safari hiyo ya kufika mahali anataka tuende, anataka tufike, changamoto hizo ambazo ziko jiani, anajua namna atakavyotupitisha kwenye changamoto hizo. Kazi hiyo ya hekali ipo kitu maana yamekeka. Ona makali mwangu yakana mwangu wake. Tunamjua hata la kwetu wetu. Tunorome kwetu Tolong bukiri rumah rumah 
Αμέρικα. Μα όμω η ομάδα μα έχει κάνει το παιδί μου ακόμα να είναι τα μάτια. Νό μου δεν είναι αμόρφη. 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 Because he knows he will deliver you. What a secret. But he can be my papa. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on.
dada yetu ambaye umemuita ulimuita akawa Mkristo na akawa kielelezo kwa watu wengi tunashukuru kwa kazi zote ambazo alifanya kama mzee wa kanisa na kushukuru kwa kazi zote alifanya kama mwanakio tunashukuru kwa sababu ya vielelezo ambavyo alikuwa anawapa watu wengine ili na wao kufuata na sasa kwa sababu umemuita tunakuja kwako tukisema kwamba jina lako litukuzwe kwa sababu wewe utendi jambo lolote bila kujua tunawaleta hawa ndugu zetu watoto wetu na wote ambao ni wa familia hii ya dada yetu tunaoweka mikononi mwako ili uwe pamoja na wao kila mahala ambapo watakuwa wanapomkosa mama yao anapomkosa mke wake mchungaji na wanapomkosa yule ambao walikuwa wanamuita nyanya baba wa mbinguni tunakuomba uwepo wako uwe pamoja na wao tunawaleta kwako na tunajua ya kuwa kwa wewe ukiwazingira na wema wako ukiwazingira na malaika wako watakuwa watu ambao watazidi kukusifu na kukutukuza kama Mungu wao Roho Bwana ukae pamoja na wao na usiwaache hata wakati mmoja ili Bwana wakati wote uwe ukiwakumbusha ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu wao wakati huu na wakati mchana tujiweka mikononi mwako sisi wote tukitarajia ya kwamba siku moja tutakutana na dada yetu ambaye ametuacha uko kwako bibuni tujiweka sasa kwako na tunajua ya kwamba utatenda mambo makuu katika familia hii ili wote watakaoona na kuangalia waone ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu wetu wakati tuko hai na wakati hatupo kama pamoja na wao uwalinde na ufanye vizuri katika roho zao na katika mambo yao yote haya ni maombi ya imani ambayo tunayaomba kupitia kwake huyu ambaye alitupenda ambaye alikufa kwa ajili yetu na ambaye anatuombea wakati wote huko kwako mbinguni ambaye ni Yesu Kristo aliye Bwana na mkombozi wetu amen Asante sana mbele familia na sasa wakati huu naomba Dr. Karimi aweze kuna photo
lakini tukaunta na Mungu ametoa amekuwa pamoja nasi. Tunaona Mungu akituongoza kila mmoja wetu hata nyinyi ambao umehudhuria siku ya leo katika safari zote na kazi hii tumefanya na tumefikisha mahali tumefika ikawa ya kumtukuza Mungu. Kwa hivyo tunatoa shukrani nyingi kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Shukrani zingine tunaotaka kuzitoa kwa ofisi ya General Assembly ambayo imetupa support na moderator wa General Assembly kutuongoza katika ibada na sector general na hata uh, DSG kwa kumenya nasi katika mbongo service siku ya jumapiri na past moderator wa Dr. Mwamba liko nasi tena usiku tumeona kushikiliwa na ofisi ya General Assembly na maafisa wa General Assembly kwa njia nyingi kuna kazi imefanywa kazi kubwa sana na kujitolea zaidi na presbyter ya Royo. Presbyter ya Royo kwa kia zote za Royo, groups zote za Royo wamefanya kazi nyingi sana na tumekuwa na project wa Royo na karani na ofisi ya, uh, ya presbyter karibu kila siku kule nyumbani ya Bondi na presbyter ipanga vizuri sana tukawa na ibada kila siku jioni mpaka jana usiku na tumekuwa na wahubiri tumekuwa na wachungaji ambao wametuongoza katika hizi hizo ibada zote na tushukuru Mungu kwa hivyo tukitaka kujitoa uh, shukrani zetu kwa groups zote za presbytery ya Royo na parish zote kwa kutushikilia kwa njia nyingi sana presbytery ya Royo ni ndogo hasa kama famous parish uh, um, mahali ambapo jamii ya Robert Kafue hii inaishi kule Kiambumi na tumeona kujitolea pingi sana na especially kanisa la Bisi ya Kikenya wazee wa kanisa wamekuwa pamoja nasi kila jioni na vikundi aina mbalimbali Women's Skill na TCMF wamekuwa pamoja nasi na tunashukuru zaidi hata kwa kutuwezesha na kutupatia kikao kule Bisi ya Kikenya mahali tulikuwa tukihudhuria ibada na mikutano uh, kila jioni TCM Gateway This is Mungu Parish ya kanisa la Mungu Church PC Dr. Ana Mahari Zongo na family yake wanaabudu uh, Church of the Torch zaidi kwa kutuwezesha kutana hapa kwa ibada hii PC Tabaya kule Mkoroide Mahari Reverend Mire Elie Mchungaji na fraternity ya Mkoroide tukiwa na MP John Kabushia na hata PS Woods Engineer Bogwa tunatoa shukrani nyingi sana kwa kutusaidia na kutushukuria Watkins wa Anwe Limu Friends ama marafiki wa Beda Mwangu na Nunes marafiki wa Moses na marafiki wa Margaret na Kapopo wa kiwa kule US na family members kutoka both sides nafanya kazi nzuri sana na kujitolea na kazi tukaweza kufikisha mara kufikisha kwa sababu ya kuwepo kwenu na kutushukuria The House of Clergy wachungaji umedhihirisha kwamba na na also the spouses ushirika wa wachungaji na spouses umedhihirisha kwamba unaweza kusimama na mmoja wenu akiwa katika shida wana wabariki sana kwa kuwepo kwenu kutuombea kwa na kuongoza ibada ambazo tumekuwa nazo kule na kuhudhuria hata leo Sunday siku ya Jumapili bwana akawabariki sana kamati zote ambao watu ambao wamekuwa wamehusika katika hizo kamati zote zimekuwa zikikutana zaidi ile ya kule ya Mungu ya Blue Springs wanawabariki sana and all the presbyters mahali ambapo mchungaji yeye amefanya kazi tumeona kwa njia nyingi mkija kushikilia hiyo jamii na bwana aendelee kuwabariki sana nataka kutoa shukrani kwa service providers wale ambao wametuhuruma wametoa huduma za aina mbalimbali tuko na catering tuko na driver na gari tulikuwa nayo na, na, kuna security kuna parking na hata fast aiders bwana awabariki sana kwa kujitoa na kufanya kazi ambayo inatukuza Mwenyezi Mungu wale ambao walichukua kaburi na kutalisha kikao ambacho tunaenda kupumzisha mwili wa mtoto wetu hata nao tunatoa shukrani kuna watu wengi wamehusika kwa kazi hii kwa njia hii kama ingine tunaweza kuwasahau kwa sababu ni wengi na tumeona kwa ni watu wanatoa kama nimekusahau na umefanya kazi jisikie umetoa shukrani wala sifa sana zaidi
wamukirete atoranie na wete na tene na todo ne kwenda kwaku ime goko othi wakusho kariya gado todo da gasho kakuo na mulimu kana kieha ni keni ya heto kete keku agatonya ugoko ine uri wadoda kaira shia na kushia kushia the kiri ya we we koreire na kaito di nabere na guda idangai ida wito uida nyingi Ito ako ida atengai urole, endo haya madani matiye tuwe ni umo wao na dasi yaku. Haya mena kea ni guito kwa murata wao jini, waniki guito kwa mutumia wake, guito kwa njina wao, umae hinya na kekeno ila shokile na jira ya jeso kristu. Na umagirie maithori mao. Mwongerele wete kio na kirigiro ni kuo meri kakile Jesu Kristo Ulea wato lile kuo ona kwa ngoma Indirea aliyo kile aki umakule akuo Na mete makiririe indirea makona na akirengi Mdanya ulea mwadhani we uatu uka mahe Gai ida wito We utange tikira maro masirasi yaku Maigano ni maudoma kukothe Tulikani ya wega iduole ati Moyo oye oye tole ni mokuwe na kutoe oye ndiye ageto arunga mbele yaku to kweli la maya maito moje to akudai da utu ohere na utu dali ni kuto ikarage to ogete ni kuto adika kwenye niwe matuko moje mara to kuto rago kuzi na to alikia uira ora utu teire uwe tike tu mzee na tayi na mshuko na tuwe na nguato na kani da waku na tu tu ikani tia uwe tiki o na kiri kiro ariwe. Gai ida wito, neguwa toga atonya uda makinu waku uro tagadila. Tua ugu wano doa Jesu Kristo mwadhani wito. Amen. Uyi kagila mwana yuwana mwadhani. Mwadhani wito ule igoro, ule toya kuri amoro, uda maki waku uke. Olea ele tebe, mewe kwa ukuthi, watoya weka wako igoro. Tuka mwode isito ito kwekana, watoya ele tebe ya maito. Watoya ele tebe. Tugaji na wazee turudi nyuma kidogo Hili wakati luna wafamilia Wazee na wakari mchanga Wafamilia Mwake Kwa na mwake kwa mahe Kiri Haya wafamilia 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 Mweka karma Mwavile Mwaka po Menedea Mwanza Mwanza Na Mwaka Mwenyewe Na Siki Ya Mwaka 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 Yeah. 
mtazamaji wa runinga ya kak ni hafla ya mazishi ya mwenda zake Jane Uwanjiko Kabui ambaye aliaga dunia tarehe kumi uh, mwezi huu wa Aprili mwaka wa 2023. Mwenda zake Jane Uwanjiko Kabui ameweza kuwa anatajwa uh, kama mtu mcha Mungu na mtu mwenye kupenda kazi ya Mungu alikuwa katika mstari wa kwanza katika huduma za kanisa uh, vile vile ni ametajwa kama mtu mkarimu na mwenye uhusiano mwema vile vile kielelezo chema kwa jamii na watu uh, ni pia bila kusahau alikuwa katika mstari wa kwanza kuhakikisha amesaidia uh, watoto ambao wanatoka katika familia ambazo hazijiwezi uh, katika kuimarisha masomo yao vile vile alichukua ali hatua pia ya kuwa anawapa mawaidha ama anatatua tatizo ambalo linakumba ndoa wanandoa na pia ambacho kimeza kuwa kinajitokeza maisha yake imeza kuwa inasimuliwa kutoka katika kitabu cha Biblia cha Timotheo wa pili ukurasa wa mstari wa saba a, a, kama mtu a, mwenye amepigana ambayo inasema nimepigana vita vyema na kumaliza safari ama mwendo wa maisha kwa imani kubwa a, vile vile a, maisha yake imesimuliwa na kifo si uh, kifo si kupoteza bali ni faida uh, mtazamaji wangu uh, ni kujuza tu ambao uh, walio uh, waliweza kuhudhuria hafla hii ya mazishi ni moderator wa kanisa la PCA Kasisi Degu Motahi vile vile katibu mkuu uh, Kasisi Robert Waihenya uh, na viongozi wengine katika ofisi kuu la PCA pia viongozi mbalimbali wameweza kuwa wanahudhuria hafla hii ya mazishi ya mwenda zake Jane Wanjiko Kabui uh, pia kushukuru tu wewe mtazamaji wangu kwa kuungana nasi kuanzia um, mwendo wa asubuhi ambapo um, hafla hii ya mazishi iliweza kuwa inaanza rasmi hadi saa hizi ameweza mwili wake umeweza kuwa unapumzishwa uh, nikiomba uendelee kutazama runinga ya kak uh, kwa habari zaidi uh, moja kwa moja narejesha uh, katika hafla hii ambayo ndio inakamilika kwa kweli kwa upande wa ukarimu ametajwa sana kama mtu mkarimu mtu ambaye alijitolea katika kusaidia jamii kusaidia watu ambao wasiojiweza kusaidia uh, watu pia ambapo ametajwa kama mtu ambaye ni mcha Mungu sana alafu pia vile vile ametajwa kama mtu aliyependa ama aliyetekeleza majukumu ama huduma za kanisa kumbuka aliweza kuwa na jiunga na kikundi cha Women's Guild kwa hivyo ni kelelezo bora zaidi ametajwa kama kelelezo bora na kelelezo njema mwenye mawaidha nzuri zaidi